the mighty Pacific. Day number... Mitch, what day number is it? 10 or 11? 10. 10? So we stay, stayed at this campground in Oregon. Just finished with the breakfast, actually. It's cooked. Eating breakfast. M made some tea. About to get on the road. We'll be heading to California today. So far so good. A little bit sunshine this morning. Rained on and off pretty much all day yesterday. On beautiful coast of Oregon. And the mighty Pacific down. Down there. But you know what I was thinking, Mitch? Yeah. I was thinking that... I wanted to ask you a question. So far, we covered Idaho, Washington, and Oregon. I'm not counting Montana and Wyoming because it's very similar and we know all that stuff. So far, which, what, what has been your favorite place? Um, probably Oregon. Like out here, this part. Out here and um, getting to the coast. All the trees and stuff there. Well, that's because you were born in Florida, so you're a tropical boy. My fair place was east of Cascades in Washington with all that deep snow and the woods and mountains. I mean, I like the ocean. It's nice. It just doesn't do anything to me. No, without a doubt, beautiful to pass through, but I wouldn't live here. I like that. Too touristy, too... not my cup of tea. But I'm Jeez. not gonna. They look like they've been blown. Uh huh. No, no doubt it's beautiful. And of course, the other thing, I cannot stand wind. It doesn't matter what temperature is. Don't like it. And I bet you it's, it gets windy quite quite often here. Today is pretty calm. Nice. All right, we are, well, I'm not sure about Mitch, I didn't even ask him, but I got tired going along the coast and all those touristy towns. So we made a detour to our tonight's destination and getting inland. And I think I like it quite a bit better out here. And uh, I will uh, increase our drive probably about by an hour. But I figured I, I want to see a little bit of inland how the working people live. So we turned around and we're heading back. We love the campground so much that we're going to go and spend an, uh, uh, another night there. Uh, but in reality, actually, we haven't worked out our routine yet and we forgot one of the bags so we drove I don't know four hours or something like that today already <laughs> and then Mitch then Mitch got the uh, voicemail on his phone that they found our bag so we had to turn around and then we're going back can't say that I mind too much 
uh, because the roads are beautiful. Nevertheless, we uh, it wasn't planned, so we have to adjust. Beautiful uh, sunset, and uh, I guess I guess that's what, that's the way it goes sometimes. Day number something. We're in California. Stopped at this um, campsite. Stayed in this bungalow because we need electricity for our laptop. Sausage is warming up. Mitch is about to make some eggs. Fry some bacon. Coffee's brewing, ready to get on on the road. Today is going to be the last day that we have an agenda meeting with friends. The rest of the time it's going to be, well, we're planning after we stay the night at my friend's house. We're planning to get on the road, hit the Sequoia National Park and then move out of the desert and do some true camping. This campsite camping is um, not my favorite thing to do. So far in California we have... Uh, well, the way Mitch put it, it's overrated. And I uh, concur. It's nice, those trees are magnificent, but other than that, we kind of it's too busy for our taste, too touristy, and I'll, I'll speak for myself, but I, I'm kind of ready to move on. What do you think, Mitch? I agree. You agree? What what are your impressions so far? Of what? Of the trip. What the yesterday uh Well, like we said, we uh we forgot the bags, <laughs> wasted eight, eight hours going back and then uh driving back to California. Uh the ocean is looks pretty impressive. I and mean, of course we lived in the Atlantic for a while, uh, in Florida, and uh, there's an ocean there too, but waves are nowhere near the size of this ones. So that looked uh, pretty, pretty, pretty interesting with all the rocks um, and cliffs and all that stuff. It's nice to visit, but like I told Mitch, I don't think I would live here. And what I found, Mitch hasn't found it as much, but I found that this humidity really gets it gets to me. Right now it's like 32 degrees. We are at about 2,500 2, in elevation. Don't remember the town, uh, but I'm freezing my ass off. Uh, we are, when we stayed in Idaho in the mountains, and even in Washington, the, the eastern part, well, it was much, much colder, but I had easier time uh, with the cold. Mitch, on the other hand, is completely opposite. He's, uh, he's completely fine here, and he was cold there. I guess all of us have different tolerance limits or whatever. Anyway. Getting ready, and we'll be on the road. So, how is it? Good stuff. I haven't tried bacon yet, but that sausage and scrambled eggs. 
maybe just being out here on the, with all the birds and of course the civilization you hear the trains good man. anyway good stuff and coffee talking about gourmet peachy it's as good then yeah